Eh, pues si no entra nadie, está mi mamá.
para esa estupidez. más
Hello, my dear students. Welcome to our English workshop. Hello. Do you listen to me? Yes. Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Anne Nevis, Angela, Angie, Camilo, Diana. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Vázquez, Luis, Nevis, Samuel, Jenny, Darlington. Hello, Darlington. Fabio Forero. Okay, welcome to our English workshop. Okay, so my name is Leonor Vargas and the idea is to practice different topics in our English workshop. The topic for today is recommendations, advices, and the idea is that you practice a lot, that you understand and practice a lot, and that you learn more about it. So I am going to begin our English workshop in two minutes. Okay, mm, very good, excellent. Maria Olaya, Ángel, Angélica, Camilo, Elizabeth. Estoy viendo bastantes um, estudiantes que ya han asistido regularmente al taller, muy pero muy bien. Recuerden que la, la idea de estos talleres es eso, ¿no? La idea de estos talleres, chicos, es que haya continuidad. De esa manera yo puedo ver mis resultados. Si no hay continuidad, de vez en cuando pues, no voy a ver avances, además, porque yo les facilito el material luego al terminar la reunión. Ok, so, today the topic, as I said, is advices. Sure, the use of some modal verbs. So, let me see. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to begin. 
not a member. My name is Leonor Vargas, and I am going to work with you as usual on Tuesdays. So let's see. The idea today is that you familiarize with this material and at the same time that you learn. So as you can see, the topic is problems, illnesses, and life situations, and giving solutions, but especially the use of modal verbs. That's the idea, the use of modal verbs. Okay, so let me see. We are going to begin today. Uh, in this workshop, the idea is that you participate by your own, that you raise your hand and you, uh, you, you participate. That's, that's the idea with these workshops, that you participate a lot. Okay, so we are going to begin today with these sentences, these proverbs, these proverbs. And the idea is that you are going to explain the proverbs. Some English proverbs you should use in your speech that you have to use, okay? Son expresiones que en español también son conocidas, pero es importante también que ustedes las reconozcan en inglés. Some English proverbs we, we, you should use in your speech. Okay, so we are going to read the first one, but, but I want that you read. So remember the idea that you participate, okay? So, Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon teacher. teacher. Okay, very good. Good afternoon, good afternoon teacher. Good afternoon, Hello. teacher. Hello, welcome. Okay, let's see. We are going to begin with the with the proverbs, and you try to explain me what it means. Remember, these proverbs are common in Spanish too, but the idea is that you learn the same proverbs in English. So uh, the volunteers raise your hand. The students who wants to read are going to raise your hand and we are going to read and explain them. Okay, so volunteers, volunteers, nobody? Okay, Angelica. Angelica Guerrero. Hello, Angelica. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, teacher. Hey. Angelica, why, professor? Ya te me llame teniendo, mira. Angelica, read number one. Okay, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay, what does it mean for you? Um, an apple a day is similar to, to be healthy. Exactly. Exactly. If you are if you are healthy, the doctor keeps away. Exactly. If you are healthy, the doctor keeps away. Healthy. Ahí an apple lo estamos relacionando con las cosas saludables, ¿no? El comer saludable. Entonces mantiene al doctor alejado. Exactly. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Pero si yo la tomo, si yo la tomo literal. También puedo decir que comer una manzana diaria pues me mantiene lejos del médico. Pero aquí es más como comer cosas saludables, el estar saludable. A lap of the day es estar saludable, estar saludable. Keeps the doctor away. Ok, Viviana, number two. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Exactly. What does it mean? Uh, maybe it could be um, um, what does it mean? Maybe to do the something uh, without a uh, spend a lot of time, maybe. Okay, what else? Okay, let me see. We, Camilo, how can you explain? It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, good evening uh, to everyone. Hello, uh, Camilo. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh -huh. This means uh, it's more important to be careful that take uh, unnecessary risk. 
Exactly, exactly. Do you remember the proverb in Spanish, Camilo? Eh, ¿Un problema en español? No, no, no. Que si me puedes decir ese proverbio en español. Es mejor prevenir que lamentar. Exactly. Es mejor prevenir que lamentar. Muy bien. As you can see, these are common proverbs in Spanish. So that the idea is that you recognize the same proverbs in English. Exactly. Es mejor prevenir que lamentar. Muy bien. Okay. Let's see. Let me see another person. Maria, Maria Olaya. Hello, Maria. Hello, Maria. Maria Olaya. Hello. I don't listen to you, Maria. Okay, I'm going to ask to another person. Let's see. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Uh, okay, Maria. Hello. Better late than never. What does it mean? Eh, es mejor estar tarde que nunca llegar. Es mejor tarde que nunca. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, that, 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 that is the translation. Okay, mejor tarde que nunca, exactly. But uh, remember, try to explain me in, in English. Okay, mejor tarde que nunca. Better late than never. You can, you can, you can add, you can write those proverbs in your notebook in order to remember later. And you say, ah, yes, I remember that proverb and I can practice it and I can use it in English. Okay, it's better late than never. Okay, I, excuse me, I, let's continue. Let me see another volunteer. Action speaks louder than words. What does it mean in Spanish? A volunteer, a volunteer. A volunteer. Eh, una palabra o una. Pero recuerden que piden la palabra. Piden la palabra y yo les doy la palabra. Ok. Let me see. Let me see. Ok, Jessica. Ok, teacher. Hello. Para más que en palabras. Repeat. Um, uh, ay, se me es que no sé si es así. Eh, una acción es mejor que mil palabras, algo así. Sí, tú estás cerca, tienes la idea, exactly. Sí, es ese, pero ¿cómo, cómo es? Para que las acciones hablan más que las palabras. Sí. Eso, eso, eso. Las acciones hablan más que las palabras. Ok, pero hay una expresión exacta. Ok, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. You catch more flies with honey Done with vinegar. What does it mean in Spanish? Who knows? Who knows? Samuel. No, you don't know? Ah, como levantaste la mano. Viviana, what does it mean? You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. What does it mean, Viviana? Hey, I don't know, teacher. I'm thinking about it. Tell me. Okay, Jenny. Tell me, Jenny. You catch your flies with honey down with vinegar. Que puedes atrapar más moscas con miel que con vinagre. And what does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué significado mm. tiene eso en español? Mm, en realidad no sé, pero sí la he escuchado. Sí. Pero no sé, a qué se, no sé a qué se refiere. Bueno, a ver, ¿a qué se refiere eso? Podemos atrapar más, más, más moscas con, con miel que con vinagre. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Ernesto. Good evening, teacher and mates. I think uh, um, it's about it's very work with good people, uh, uh, with good people. Okay, yeah, that means that if you are kind, it's better than fight. Ustedes pueden desarmar más fácil a una persona 
siendo amables que, que, que peleando. Es lo que nos quieren decir. Entonces, cuando yo tenga algún conflicto, puedo desarmar más fácil a una persona de, de manera amable y cordial que peleando. ¿Ok? Ok, let's continue. Don George, a book by its cover. Who? Recuerden que los proverbios utilizan cosas, pero se refieren a las personas o, a, o animales. Don George, a book by its cover. Who knows? Who can explain? Camilo, can you explain this? Uh, can you translate uh, to Spanish, please? No juzgues a un libro por su portada. What does it mean, according to people? What does it mean, Camilo? In Spanish or in English? In, in, Eng in English. In English. Uh, we, uh, I, we don't judge the people for the physical appearance. Appearance, exactly. Uh, um, uh, that uh, the most important is the the feelings. Exactly. Yes, that means the most okay. important thing is it's the the heart. But don't say ah oh, that person is like that because because of the physical appearance. Yeah, thank you, Camilo, thank you. So as you can see, I'm using, you should use in your speech. So now, apart from now, you are going to use these expressions in Spanish and in English too. The idea is that you familiarize with the expressions in English, okay? And we are using should. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. What's the idea? I am going to ask you, so the idea that you participate. Hey, Viviana, you are going to be the first. The students who wants to answer, raise your hand, please. The students who wants to answer. Los, los que estudiantes que vienen hasta hoy, la idea de estos talleres es que sean muy participativos, que ustedes, inter, eh, ustedes interactúen todo el tiempo con el taller como tal. Entonces, esa es la idea y más importante del taller. Entonces, yo quiero ver cuántos participan, cómo participamos. Es interesante, chicos, porque así se aprende más. Cuando uno participa, aprende más. Ok, let's see. Y no tenemos que irnos porque la profesora les va a preguntar. No, vamos a hacerlo a voluntad. Ok, let's see. I want to improve my English grammar. Now we are going to begin with the problems and solutions, el tema del día. I want to improve my English grammar. What should I do? Okay. For example, opinions, opinions, opinions. A ver, quiero ver manitos levantadas. I want to improve my English grammar. What should I do? Marjorie? Okay, teacher, hello. Hello. Um, uh, uh, practice every day. Exactly. I should, remember to use a should, as an advice, como un consejo, I should practice every day. Repeat it, Marjorie. I should. I should practice every day. Every day, excellent. This is an opportunity to practice today. Okay, thank you, Marjorie. Let me see more hands, more hands. Camilo, I want to improve my English vocabulary. What should I do? I should study a dictionary. Okay, I should study a dictionary. Okay, read a history. Yeah, that's correct. I should study the dictionary. Excellent, excellent. Okay, the idea, my dear students, is that you try to give me uh, an advice. Give me an advice. Okay, let's see. Uh, Angelica, I'm afraid of cats. What should I do? I should um uh, I should walk um, far far of cats. Okay. <laughs> I, I should have a cat a duck. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Diana, Diana. Diana. Hello, teacher. Hello, I want to become rich. What should I do? Or you can say you should, you should. You should. Uh, 
work 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 hard work hard yes. or, or, or you can say you should buy the ganabingo <laughs> a possibility <laughs> yes or no uh, okay. <laughs> yes you should buy the lottery okay you should work hard okay thank you the idea is to familiarize with should and some advices okay let's continue I often get lost. I often get lost. What should I do? Who is going to answer? I often get lost. What should I do, Viviana? I should. You should. Uh, you should. An you advice should, for me. You should. You should um, to, to use a GPS. Okay, you to know you should use a you GPS. should use a a GPS. GPS. So as you can see, we should you don't say a two because it's to a model infinity. Verb and the model verb they don't have to. Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher, thank you. Samuel, excellent. Samuel. Yes. I'm sick and I have a cold. What should I do? I should. Uh, you should. You go. Uh, uh, you should go to uh, hospital. Okay, you should go to the hospital. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Angelica, I want to have more friends. What should I do? Uh, you should uh, get out more, more uh, many times. Repeat it. You should. You should. Um, uh, out. You uh, should go out. Or you. Or uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. Go oh, out. Go out. Uh, Every day. Uh, okay. You should go out frequently. You can say. Yes, yes, frequently. Frequently. Okay. Let's see. Another volunteer. Volunteers. More volunteers. I'm going to ask you. Let's see. Camilo. 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 Yes, teacher. Hello, Camilo. Listen to this. I want to live a very long time. What should I do? You should do exercise and eat healthy. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, Darlington. Darlington. Hello, Darlington. Darlington. Okay, no problem. Andrea Gomez. Do you want to participate, Andrea? Hi, teacher. You can hear Hello. me? Yes, I listen to you. Listen, Andrea, I can find my pet dog. What should I do? You should give advice to the police. Okay, or you should go to the police. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Ana Maria, do you want to participate? Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Maria. Listen to this. I'm often late for class. I'm often late for class. What should I do? You should take taxi. Take a taxi or get up early, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you imagine, Ana Maria, taking a taxi every day? <laughs> you must be rich. <laughs> yes or no? Okay, Angie, Angie Vanessa, do you want to participate? Angie. Senora. Okay, good, Angie. <laughs> listen, listen to this. I want to lose weight, perder peso, but it's difficult. What should I do? Mm. Exercise? You should, repeat it, you should. Angie, repeat, you should. You should. Exercise. Exercise. Okay, thank you. Because the idea is to use should as an advice. 
Lo que nosotros podemos dar es consejos y la gente no los quiere tomar, pues cada uno. Ok, let's see. Diana Ramírez. Hello, Diana. Diana. Hello. Yes. Diana. Hello. Hello, yes. Diana. Hello, teacher. Listen to this. I want to find a good job. What should I do? You should, you should find, find, find my pet in a park. No, no, no. I want to find a good job. Un buen trabajo. Uh, I want to find. What should I do? Uh, you should. You should uh, study, study. Yes, study. Study. A lot. Master. A master. Excellent. Excellent, Diana. You should study a master. Excellent. Very good. Si ven, chicos, nos llamamos tímidos. Okay, excellent, Diana. Very good. As you can see, my dear students, we are using should as an advice. En este momento, el should estamos viendo como consejo. Cuando yo voy a dar un consejo, estoy dando una solución. Por eso estamos hablando de solutions. Lo vimos en la primera, que yo les decía, aquí en la primera que dice, giving solutions. Yo puedo dar unas soluciones a modo de sugerencia a las personas. Es lo que estamos al tema del día de hoy. Ok, let's continue. We are going to read these advices. So, the students who want to read, uh, raise your hand, ok? So, that's the idea. The students who want to read, raise your hand. Ok. I am going to wait for the students who want to read. Chicos, lancémonos al agua a leer. No hay problema si nos equivocamos. No, es un taller. Simplemente es un taller y esto es muy chévere porque así estamos practicando. Ok, let's see. Ok, we are going to begin. So, let's see. Eh, Viviana, read the first. Giving advice. Read the first. Ok, teacher. Um, I am an old lady and I can stand noisy. The boys living next door like very loud music. They can listen to it all day long, sometimes until late at night. What can I do? What can I do, Viviana? Give me a solution. Maybe um, um, it's very difficult to, to say to other people, oh, uh, the, the music is uh, very, very loud. loud. Uh -huh. uh, so I try to, to use, um, uh, uh, go to the bed, uh, go to the room that is under or uh, is very, very far. Uh, far from the, okay. Yeah, yeah, very maybe. far. Or, I, I, I try to, to, to look for the place that it could be very far of, this, of the place where they are okay. a lot of music, maybe. So you can change the room or you, yes, maybe you can talk to the, to the person, no? It depends on the, of the neighbor. What yes, teacher. It's very difficult in this time yes. because there are uh, many different people and they... Uh, their um, behavior uh -huh. uh, is very difficult to... Yes, mm, it's yes, so difficult. Teacher. That's true, exactly. Okay, thank you, Diana. Uh, Viviana, Diana, what can you do? What can I do in that case, Viv uh, Diana? Diana Ramirez, what can you do in that case? Diana. No, teacher, no entiendo. I understand. What, ¿qué, ¿Qué puedes hacer en ese caso de esa situación? Mm. As, as Viviana said, talk to the other person or maybe go to another room. Fabio, Fabio, what can you do? Good afternoon, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. I am... Uh... Number one, in that case. I am uh, uh, afraid. No, what I can am... you do? 
¿Qué puedes hacer en ese caso, la primera situación? They can easily. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you are going to read, but now estamos viendo la primera situación y estamos dando unas posibles soluciones. La idea del ejercicio. What can I do? For example, Viviana, Viviana said, no, eh, I'm going to go to another room. Se hace lejos en un cuarto lejos, porque uh -huh. uno no sabe si es como la gente, se pone, la, ponga, la gente se puede poner brava y no le guste que le digan que le baje la música, ¿no? Y eso nos pasa en muchas partes, ¿no? Ahí aparta la gente donde pone la música a todo volumen y nos toca aguantarnos. Entonces, vamos con el segundo caso. Este, este que estoy señalando con el caso. Please. Eh, Diana. Diana, okay. then Fabio, ¿ok? Diana, Fabio, you are going to read number three. Diana, read number two. I am a mother. I am a mother of a five years old son. Mm -hmm. My son likes cats very much and he wants to have a cat as a pet in our house. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I am allergic to cats. What should what I should do? I do. What should I do, Diana? Hmm? In that situation. Eh, ah, regalo el niño. <laughs> uh, I, I should. I, I should. Yes, I should. Um, uh, adopt uh, go to adopt cat uh, no but they did remember that you are allergic to cats what should I do uh, sí, como llevarlo a un lugar llevarlo a un lugar de adopción uh, no but because he likes uh, your son likes cats but he doesn't have a cat so He wants a cat. So, what should you do? Uh, uh, I want. Uh -huh. He wants to have a cat pet in our house. Uh, you, I am sure, uh, take a pet, a pet, uh, como a, a medic, a medicamento, como una pasta. Okay, maybe a medicine. Okay, very good. Take a pill or maybe buy a dog. Yes or no? Should buy a dog. It's an animal. <laughs> okay? Could be possible. Okay, Fabio, read number three. My husband. Okay, uh, my husband and I will have a wedding anniversary next month. We have decided to go. Decided. We have decided. We have decided to go on holiday. I want to to, to go, go to Egypt. 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 But, but but my husband doesn't. What what will you advise me? What will you advise me? Or what should you do? What? Uh, what you advise? I should. I, I'm sorry. Remember, my husband and I will have a wedding anniversary next month. Yes, you have the anniversary. And we will we have to decide the place to go, okay? I want to go to Egypt, but my husband doesn't. What would you advise me? I, want, I should be to other location. Okay, other another side. place. I propose, maybe you say, uh, you should go to another place that you like it. Yes or no? Okay, Fabio, it's okay. a possibility. It's a possible solution, go to another place. Okay, very good. Okay, thanks. Anthony, Anthony, number four. Read number four, Anthony. Today, Anthony. Anthony, okay, read number four. Today, Okay, today is my son's birthday. birthday. I want to arrange a party for him and his friends. And his friends. But I'm afraid I won't have enough time to do it because of my work. What can I do? What can I do, Anthony? Okay, teacher. Espera, <laughs> pienso. 
Mm -hmm. Imagine your son's birthday and you want to invite his friends, but you don't have enough time to prepare mm -hmm. anything. What can you do? Okay, uh, you can organize, um, organize, organize, thank you, organize a um, virtual meet for um, an hour. Repeat it, please. You can organize uh -huh. a virtual meet for celebrate the, um, your son's birthday mm -hmm. for an hour. Okay, maybe, yeah. Okay, it's a possible solution. Okay, Anthony, thank you. Camilo, read number five. Yes, teacher. Uh, I am a father, that? Uh -huh. Yes. I am a father of 15 year old boy. My son wants to enter a medical university and to be a doctor. I want him to be not a doctor, but I'm lawyer like I am. What should I do? What should I do, Camilo? I should tell with my boy, with my boy, with my son, and concert uh, other uh, career. Uh, okay, talk to him. Talk to him. Yes. Should, okay, talk to him and decide another career. Okay. Is possible. Remember that you, you have to respect your son's decisions, no? In terms of career. Yes or no? Okay, let's see another. Hernan, Hernan, I am Simon. Hernan. Hernan. Hi, Hi. Hello. Sorry, sorry. I am Simon. I am Simon. Uh, a year ago, I married Lucy. She likes cooking. Lucy cooks very tasty, but fatty, but food. fatty food. I, I, used, I used. I used to have a sporty figure, but mm -hmm. I have I, but I have put on weight. How can you help me? How can you help me? Imagine the situation. Yes, uh, I think he he can go to the gym to to get to get fit. Uh -huh. But remember that at home you are eating party food. So she talk, talk to to her and change the the diet uh, they they have. Okay, and yes. and, to, or, and talk to her, no? Maybe. Yes, yes. Talk, talk to Lucy and decide to, to change the food. Yes. Okay, Hernan, thank you. These are just situations. These are just situations. So now the idea is that we are practicing them. Let me see. Excuse me, what a minute. Mm -hmm. What's the idea now that uh, we are practicing should as, um, as an advice, as a solution? Look at this. As you can see, coronavirus is here. So we are going to talk about some advice rules on warming, okay? And we are going to use expressions to talk about how to solve a problem, okay? So at this moment, we are using should and must. Do you remember what is must? Who can tell me what is must? A ver, ¿quién recuerda que es must? Deberías. Deber como una obligación, ¿no? And should, es la diferencia entre should, que es como un consejo, y must es como una obligación. An obligation. Example. You must not be late for work because you will make your boss angry. We are going to do number two. Look at this, excuse me. We are going to do number two. You should keep your uniform clean. You should keep your uniform clean. Which one is the solution? Let me see your hands. I am going to see. Okay, Samuel, Samuel. Yes. Which one is the solution?
es la que dice because you want look professional. Because es la que está abajo. Which one? You want to look yes. professional. Okay. Is your idea? Then we are going to check. Stop. You need to wear a mask. Stop. You need to wear a mask. Let's see, Angelica. Okay, teacher. Um, because you don't want to get COVID. Exactly. Okay, good. Let's continue. You must not talk on your cell phone. You must not talk on your cell phone. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me see, David. You must not talk on your cell phone. Yes, uh, I think Fine. it's because, uh, because, uh, uh, you might make a customer angry, maybe. Yeah, because you know, can you imagine you arrive to a place and you are talking by phone? Exactly, look at the situation. Yes, yes. thank you, David. Okay, let's continue, please. Camilo, Camilo. Yes, teacher. You should help your co-workers. Because it is a nice thing to do. It is a nice thing to do? Yes, I am going to put it. Okay, let's see the last one. Careful, the floor is wet. Careful, the floor is wet. So answer, let's see, let's see, let's see. Answer, Viviana. Viviana. Viviana? Yes, teacher. Careful, the floor is wet. wet. Let Which me one? see the option. Uh, no. Because you don't want to sleep and fall. Ajá, deslizarse, ¿no? Sleep yes, and fall. Okay, okay. Let's see. We are going to check. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's see. Now, the coronavirus advice. Uy, profe, pero ese tema, ay, no. But we know, we need to know. We are learning English. We are practicing English. Okay, volunteers, volunteers. Chicos, la idea es que les toca participemos más. Okay, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Coronavirus advice. Feeling the gas with shoulder or shoulder? You? You, you shoulder. Avoid crops. Uh huh. You shouldn't. Exactly. Uh huh. Okay. Next. I think. Sorry. I think it's you should. Why? Tell me why. Because crowds uh, are many people, and maybe they have COVID. Uh huh. Because avoid case. Evitar, evitar las aglomeraciones. You should. Very good. Ah. Ok, eso me gusta. Están pendientes, están pendientes. Remember, avoid. Ahí eso es lo importante, chicos, saber cuál es el verbo. Should avoid, evitar crowds. Exactly. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Así vamos aprendiendo todas nuestras palabras. Avoid, ah, avoid, ah, avoid. Ok, let's see. Eh, Oscar, Oscar, next. So, full sentence. You should. You should. We are a mask. Wear a mask. You should wear a mask. Okay, very good. Let's let's continue. Let me see. Okay, excellent. Eh, Diana Tobar. No se preocupen que a todos les voy a preguntar. Yes, teacher. Diana, this one. Yes. 
um, yeah, no. one or three? You uh, are this, okay, this one, this one, you, you know, if you want to hear this, you one. should disinfect uh -huh. your phone. You should, yes, the, disinfect. disinfect your phone. Your phone, uh -huh. yes. excellent. Yes, okay, let's continue. Let us continue, Jenny. Jenny Hernandez, number four. This should not a full sentence. You, you. Should then, eh, mm -hmm. no sé cómo se pronuncia el verbo profe. You shouldn't shake anyone. You should shake anyone. You shouldn't shake, repeat it. You shouldn't shake. You shouldn't shake anyone. anyone. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Let me see your hands. Angie, Vanessa. Angie, this one. Angie, this one. You should touch your face. You or shouldn't? Should. Affirmative? Mm, not. <laughs> ah, because touch, always <laughs> touch. <laughs> you shouldn't. Uh -huh, exactly. You shouldn't touch your face. Okay? Yes. You shouldn't. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's continue. David. David, yo le estoy preguntando al azar. Ante en Elizabeth. Yeah. David. You, you should. You should wash your hands. Uh -huh. You should wash, wash your, hand. your hand. Exactly. You should wash your hand. Okay, this one. Elizabeth. Eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia lo que está después del cuadro. Cold. Cold. Into your elbow. Repeat it. Cough. Cough. Into your mm -hmm. elbow. Mm -hmm. Into, okay. into, into your in elbow. elbow. Okay. So you, you should uh -huh. into your elbow. Your elbow. 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 Sí. Okay. Thank you. Toser en el en el codo. Okay. Good. Then the last one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Camilo. Camilo? Yes, teacher. You should keep distance. Exactly. You should keep distance. As you can see, all of this is familiar for us in Spanish, but now it's familiar for you in English. Okay? That now is familiar for you in English. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to continue with should or shouldn't. Remember that we are talking about solutions and we are using, listen to me, that we are using the, uh, the model verb should and shouldn't, okay? So let's see, volunteers. Volunteers, okay, voy a preguntar a la Sara, sí. Eh, Diana Ramirez and then Ernesto. Diana, she has flu, she, Should. Should, exactly. Should. Do you know, Should. Diana, what is flu? What no. is flu? What, is what did you imagine is flu? She. Stay at home. What is flu, Ernesto? Is this a no cold? Gripa. Exactly. Tener gripa. Estar... Mm, yes. Uh -huh. She should stay at home. Okay, thank you. Ernesto, next. He has the cake. He should carry heavy things. Should? Uh, should. And the cake. Remember that the cake is dolor de espalda, no? Should. 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 Affirmative? Negative. Shouldn't. 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 Uh, repeat, Ernesto. He has a cake. A cake. Yeah. He shouldn't carry heavy things. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to ask to uh, please. Excellent, excellent. Si participa, chéverísimo. Uh, let me see. From Fabio. Fabio and then Diana Tobar. Fabio. Okay. She has uh, a he... headache. 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 She should take painkiller. A painkiller, okay. 
Next, uh, I said who? Mm, Diana. Diana? Yes, Diana Tobar, yes, Samuel Young. Diana Tobar, tell me. Steve has. Steve has stomachache. Stomachache. He, stomachache. Uh, he's short, green lemon, and mint tea. And my, exactly, and mint tea. You have runny nose. Runny nose. Okay, so this is for uh, Camilo. You have runny yes, nose. Teacher. You? You have running, running nose. You show those your nose. Uh huh. That's the idea with this exercise that you practice more vocabulary. Vocabulary that is familiar for you. Estamos hablando de situaciones que las vemos todos los días, chicos. Solo que les estamos aprendiendo ahora en inglés. Daisy has dirty hands. She, she Jessica, she, Jessica she, Torres. She, Charles. Mm -hmm. Wash. Wash your hands. Her hands. Uh -huh. yes. Hands. Her hands. Uh, Angelica Guerrero and then Angelica Guerrero and then Viviana. Angelica. My brother. Yes. My brother has a toothache. 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 Uh, he shouldn't eat candies. Uh, he shouldn't eat candies. Very good. Okay, next. Uh, next. Angelica Guerrero. I'm sorry. Has Jennifer, has, Jennifer has a broken arm. She shouldn't play volleyball. Exactly. She shouldn't play volleyball. The last one, this is for, let me see, let me see. Uh, uh, Camila, do you want? Ah, uh, no, 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 wait, Camila. Angie, 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 Angie. Villarraga, do you want? Angie. Angie. Yes. He I'm feels tired. He? Tired. He? Uh, Shower. Mm -hmm. Shall we have a rest? Uh, a rest. Okay, very good. Let's okay, continue. Una pregunta. Tell me. Y ahí arriba habían como tres palabras eh, como enfermedades que terminan en como CH. To taste. Okay. Eso significa to cuando tú dices dolor de cabeza, dolor de estómago, dolor de espalda, dolor de dientes. Profe, pero su pronunciación, eso es como una K. Toothache. Tooth no se dice ni toothache, no. Toothache. Stomachache. Headache. No dice ni nada de headache, no. Headache. Okay. Stomach. Stomachache. Stomachache. Caroline has a sore throat. Tiene dolor en una parte del cuerpo. Por ejemplo, estómago tiene dolor de dolor yes. Ok. Carolina has a sore throat. She. Let me see your hands. Eh, Viviana. Pueden ir buscando el vocabulario si quieren allá en la casita. Para que vayan adelantando. Carolina has a sore throat. She. Viviana. I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> Caroline, Caroline has a has sore throat. A sore throat. throat. She, she should go to, the, to a doctor. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, she has measles. What is measles? What do you mean is measles? A ver, ¿quién investigó? Ustedes están investigando ya en la casita. What is measles? Sarampión. Sarampión. Uh -huh. She has measles. She... Should or shouldn't? Should or shouldn't? Shouldn't. It's negative. Yes, you can go to the to to school. Okay, let's see. I, I'm going to see Oscar. Oscar. He has a coat. He. He has a coat. He shouldn't drink cold drink. Exactly. He shouldn't drink 
cold rain. Uh -huh. Let's continue. She has a toothache. A toothache. So let's see, please. Ernesto. Ernesto. Ay, excuse me. Ay, excuse me, excuse me. Se me fue. Excuse me, my dear students. She has toothache. She should go to a dentist. She should uh -huh, go to, to a, a dentist. dentist. Next one, Ernesto. Math is fat. Ma he Children eat jam food. Exactly. Children eat jam food. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see another. Uh, Jenny, Jenny Hernandez. Alice has a cold. She should, mm -hmm. should have a rest. rest. Finally, tell me, she has a headache. She should, should, should take, take, take medicine. medicine. Exactly. Take medicine. Okay, very good. What's the idea with it? The idea is that we are practicing some um, model verbs talking about advices and obligations. And at the same time, we are giving solutions for a problem. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. I yes, must. Teacher. We are going to see here, and you are going to tell me sentence using should or using must. Remember, must is an obligation, and should is an advice, a recommendation. Okay, it's different. So the idea now is that you raise your hand to give me sentences. Okay, give me possibilities. I'm going to begin, chicos. Les animo a que se, alice, se lancen a decir todos. Ay, pueden escoger. Ustedes pueden ahí escoger. Es opcional. Viviana, give me one. Arma mi una frase con lo que está ahí. With should or shouldn't. Viviana. Let me one moment, teacher. I'm thinking. Eh, eh, she. She. She should. She should. Eh, take. Take. Eh, um, take. Some pills. Some pills. Thank you. Remember, condition. Don't repeat the sentence, okay? Don't repeat. Must be different. Okay. Angelica. Angelica and then Diana Ramirez. Angelica, another okay. option. Okay. Uh, Paul, Paul should wear um, warm clothes. Warm clothes. Okay, good. Next, Diana, Jessica, Oscar, Diana. I must, I must go. An advice, an advice, Diana, an advice. I, I, I should, I should go, go, home. go home. Go home, okay. I sh for example, you are on the street and you say, no, 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 I should go home. Okay, now obligation, obligation. Jessica, Oscar, Samuel, obligation, Jessica. I should Obligation or prohibition? A prohibition is negative, obligation is affirmative, okay? Mm -hmm. So, mass or mass? I I shall eat more pizza. No, listen, obligation. Acuérdate que los de arriba son advice y el los de abajo son obligation or prohibition. Obligation. Uh, Tell me. Diana? I I must or I mustn't. Diana. Diana. Diana se fue. Se le fue el volumen a Diana. Jessica. Jessica. 
Jessica, Hello, give me a sentence about an obligation. Obligation. I must eat I must. more. I must. Repeat it. I must. I must eat more pizza. More. Eat more. Eat more. Only, only the sentence. More. Eat more. Okay. Now the next one is Oscar prohibition. Oscar prohibition. Oscar. I must go. No, listen to me. Prohibition is negative. Okay. Okay. Remember, obligation is affirmative. Prohibition is negative. So, Oscar. I mustn't eat more uh, hot dog. Okay, eat more hot dogs. Okay. Okay, good. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Samuel, Ana Maria, Camilo. Samuel. Obligation, Samuel. Obligation. I must. Remember that you have I, she, they, Paul, Sue, and Jane. I. I. Must. I must. Go. Go. A doctor. Go a doctor? No, go home. Go, go to the doctor. To the doctor. Ahí la tendría así. Uh -huh. Pero es con lo que está ahí. Tratemos de utilizar lo que está ahí. Ok. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let me see, let me see. Ana María Camilo, uh, Marjorie. Ana María, an advice. Ana María, an advice. I should see a doctor. Ok. Ok, let's continue. Eh, Cam eh, Camilo, Camilo was, was Camilo? Yes, teacher. Okay, Camilo, a prohibition. A prohibition? Mm -hmm. She mustn't mm -hmm. take some pills. Exactly, okay. Excellent. Marjorie's. Marjorie's Jenny Diana. Marjorie's an obligation, Marjorie's. Okay, teacher. Uh, I must go home. I must go home. Okay. Uh, please, Jenny, Diana Tobar, David. Jenny, an advice. Uh, they should, uh, go, uh, home. Go home. Okay. An advice. And then, uh, David, Andrea. Diana, 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 David, Diana. Diana, a prohibition, Diana. A prohibition? Yes, teacher. Um, no. Sue no. and Jay mustn't. No. Mustn't. No. Mustn't. No. Uh, take some pills. Take some pills, okay. Okay, David, Andrea, Angie. I, David. And yes. An obligation. An obligation. Uh, you, um, Paul must take some pills. Okay, it depends no? if, if he is sick. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> exactly. Okay, thank you, David. Andrea Gomez. Andrea Gomez. Andrea. Yes. Hello, Andrea. Hola. <laughs> no, but in English. Andrea, an advice. She should wear warm clothes. Exactly. She should wear warm clothes. Excellent, my dear students. That's the idea. We are giving solutions. We are talking about illnesses. At the same time, we are using model verbs. Which model verbs? Should and mess as we use them for advices and prohibitions. We are going to see this short. Okay, who wants to read this information? Who wants to read? Who? Who wants to read? Me, teacher. 
Okay, Angelica, read. Should. We use. We use should to suggest, suggest something. something. Suggest something. It is advisable, advisable, advisable. advisable to the model. Should express opinion. opinion. One person's point of view. An opinion, an advice. Thank you. Continue. Give me the examples. Okay. We should protect our environment. 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 It, it makes, makes good sense. Uh -huh. Next. We shall sell cars that are more fuel efficient. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, we shall use reusable. I, I can see the next. Reusable bags. Uh, I can see the bags. The, the Bags the, when shopping. The screen, the screen, the Pick screen. Up the screen, please. Bags, what? No, I can move it because if I move it. Es que no se ve la parte de abajo, bags, <laughs> bags when shopping. Yes, I know. La cuestión es que no lo puedo subir porque se me cambia la otra. Bags. Ah, caramba. Usable, okay. Bags, when... bags when shopping. Okay. Las bolsas reutilizables. Okay, thank you. Another volunteer who reads. Who wants to read? Recuerden, Hi, chicos, que cuando yo los pongo a leer también, ahí también estamos practicando la parte del reading. No solamente es mirar temas, sino también en la lectura, en la escucha, en el habla. Todos estamos practicando las habilidades comunicativas. Ernesto, read. We use most to express a stronger point of, point of view. We need to, we have to. The model must also express opinion. One person's point of view. Examples. We must protect our environment or our resources we will disap disappear as an obligation. Disappear. Can you see the difference? As an obligation. Continue, Ernesto. The car, the car industry must change engines that burn fossil fuels. As exactly. And the last one. The store must give out recyclable, recyclable plastic bags. Plastic bags. Okay. They must use. Okay, as an obligation, okay? That's the idea, that's the difference. The first one is an opinion as an advice, and the second is an obligation. Okay, look at this. Um, you have here many, listen to me, you have here many uh, uh, web pages, and the idea is that we are going to practice with them, okay? So let's see, the last one. Okay, excuse me, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me, wait a minute. Ok, let's see. Entonces, la idea de estos ejercicios que vamos a hacer ahorita, vamos a hacer solo algunos. Solo algunos. ¿Por qué? Porque la idea es que ustedes también, en casa, tengan tiempo para practicar. Y ustedes también busquen ejercicios a partir de estos enlaces que yo les estoy eh, dando ya aquí a ustedes. Entonces, esperen un momento. Sí, yo no lo estoy compartiendo. No te preocupes. Esperen un momento, digo que no la estoy compartiendo. Lo estoy haciendo a propósito. Ok, let's see. So, we are going to finish the activity uh, with another exercise. What's the idea? The idea is that we practice some exercises. Let me see if it is. Ok, let's see. So, can you see the screen? Yes? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, sure. so, the idea today was to practice model verbs, must and should, that you practice using for your real situations at home and that with familiar vocabulary and that you learn more vocabulary about it. How to say a solution, how to talk about a solution and give a solution to anyone. So, okay, the participants, we are going to do this. It's very hard today. They, tell me, tell me, tell me. They, should. they should open the window. Okay, <laughs> open the window. Okay, let's see. Uh, Angelica. Angelica, I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, you shouldn't 
Watch TV all night. Uh, children. Watch TV all night. all night. Exactly. Let's continue. Let's continue with the uh, Oscar. Oscar. He he has bad teeth. He should should brush his teeth twice, twice a day. Twice. Twice, twice a, a day. day. A day. Repeat it. Twice a day. Twice a day. Okay, very good. Let's continue, Camilo. Yes, you? Teacher. you should call your parents now. They're worried about you. Exactly. Okay, good. Elizabeth. We shouldn't be late for school. The teachers get angry. Okay, good. Anthony. Okay. You should brush your teeth twice a day. Okay, good. Let's continue, Ana Maria. You should open the window. Eh, no, you shouldn't open the window. It's a call. Uh -huh. Next, she. Please, Fabio. Okay, she shouldn't copy her friend's homework. The teacher gets angry. Okay, very good. Let's see, please, um, Camilo. He's yes, tired. He's he... tired. He shouldn't party all night. All night, okay. Uh, excuse me, it moves. Okay, the last one. The last one, Fa uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Diana Ramirez, you? Diana? You should eat lots of fruit and, and vegetables. Vegetables, repeat it, vegetables. Repeat it, uh, Diana, vegetables. Vegetables. Okay, very good. So the idea, my dear students, is that you practice, that you continue practicing because English is like this, is practice. Which one was the topic today? Who can tell me which one was the topic today? Advices. Advices and? Um, solutions. Solutions. solutions and advices. Uh huh. Exactly. That's the idea. Each day we have different topics, and the topic today was giving solution, giving advices. Okay. The use of should and must. La idea, chicos, es que cada vez que practiquemos, nos quede un tema bien claro. Este tema era el tema de hoy. Era que nos quede muy claro a partir de ejercicios. No es abarcar mucho, sino que yo <laughs> De que tenga más vocabulario, tenga más estructuras, tenga más formas de expresarme. Entonces, yo espero que ustedes ahora van a utilizar esos proverbios en inglés, porque ya los conocen y son conocidos de español. Entonces, eh, esa es la idea de estos ejercicios, chicos, de que trabajemos a partir de la práctica, la práctica, la práctica, y que cada vez veamos que si estamos aprendiendo temas nuevos, que de pronto los conocíamos, pero que de pronto nos faltaba más práctica. Entonces, esa es la idea de, esto, de todos estos talleres, de que ustedes enriquezcan su vocabulario y enriquezcan también su eh, conocimiento del inglés a través de los diferentes temas. Ahí les copié la presentación en el chat. ¿Lo vieron todos? ¿Sí está ahí? Yes, Ahí está la presentación yes, en el chat para que la tengan todos. Recuerden que pueden entrar a partir de los enlaces a otras páginas y todo. Ok. I give it to you this page to practice. To practice. Um, a should and WWH Agenda Web Dev Org. It's excellent, excellent, excellent to practice any topic. Es la mejor página que hay para practicar todos los temas de inglés. Um, al correo, la recordación de estos talleres, muy fácil, siempre es el mismo enlace. Entonces ya saben que todos los martes a las seis de la tarde hay el taller. 
Siempre es el mismo enlace, entonces no hay pierde. ¿Listo? Lira. Voy a estar cuando van estos talleres. En los míos, con, los míos míos van hasta el 18 de mayo, pero después continúa otro profesor. Pero los míos míos van hasta el 18. O sea, yo haciendo los talleres hasta el 18. Ok. Ok, my dear students. No okay, se preocupen, teacher. yo tengo que hacer esta semana. Hay dos, hoy no habló. Yo tengo no, que hacer teacher. esta semana. La dije, okay. Eh, tengo yes. que hacer esta semana una revisión de, las, de los listados para empezar a enviar y a, a sus profesores de los estudiantes que han venido frecuentemente a los talleres. Por favor, dentro de ocho días vamos a, voy a preguntarles los, los tutores que tienen ustedes. Okay. Uy, ¿quién tiene por ahí abierto un micrófono? Ok, my dear students, that's all for today. Thanks for being here. Um, bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, bye, 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 teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Si alguno quiere alguna de las presentaciones pasadas, yo les voy a copiar en el chat. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Excellent. Ahí les copié mi correo para los que quieran. Eh, eh, Preíme las presentaciones anteriores. Ok, teacher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you later. Did you like it? See you later. Yes, we, I like it. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. That's the idea. Continue uh, practicing in this workshop. Okay. Ok, bye. See you. Bye. bye. Si alguno quiere los talleres anteriores, me escriben al correo y yo se los envío ahorita. Aquí más material. ¿Sí? Hoy el taller era más pequeño. Otros días es hasta las 8, dependiendo del tema.